no, this is not good. No, 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 no. This is not good. Hi, my name is Fraser and welcome to Graphics Card Repairs. So today we have this Palette RTX 3060 Ti and the user reported that this card is not getting detected. So let's measure the resistance and check what we get here. So the customer says that uh, when he installs this card on his mining rig, uh, it doesn't get detected. So probably uh, I think that there might be a short, so let's measure the resistance on all the external voltage rails and see if we anything. So uh, by the looks of it, we don't see any shorts from outside. So let's open this card up and take a look uh, inside the inside this uh, once we get this uh, cooler out. Okay, so the cooler has uh, been removed. Let's measure the resistance again and let's start from the eight pin again. And uh, we don't have any shorts here. Uh, let's take a look at the 12 volts PCIe and we don't have any shorts. Uh, this is the 1.8 volt. Let's check. And the resistance is low, so there's something wrong here. Uh, it's only about 8.5. Oh no, that's dropped to 4.6. Okay, uh, the 5 volts. Let's check the 5 volts. And we don't have any shots here. Let's check PEX. And PEX is good. Let's check the memory. And we have about 9.5, which is not good. Let's remove this uh, memory pads and let's take a look underneath. Let's see what we can uh, see or what's installed. What is this? Okay, it looks like uh, he put some thermal paste underneath the memory pads. So I really wonder what's wrong with the memory pads or is that it's overheating or something or maybe it was not running as per specs maybe but this is not what i expected it's really in a mess let's remove this no this is not good no 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 this is not good this is hynix no oh god so we have uh, Hynix memory, which is really doubtful. Maybe that's the reason he put those, uh, you know, that thermal paste there. I really don't know. Uh, let's uh, plug in our power supply and let's take a look. We have about one amp. Oh, it drops to 0 0.13 very quickly. Okay, let's check. We have 12 volts. Um, let's check 1.8. We have 1.8. Let's check the other 12 volts PCIe. We do have 12 volts PCIe. Let's check 5 volts. Oh, I'm sorry, probing the wrong end. Let's check it again. And we do have 5 volts. Let's check PEX. And we have PEX as well. Let's check core. We do have core. What about memory? and we have memory. So all our voltage rails are there. Uh, let's take a look under the thermal camera. Maybe something may light up. Something that's connected to the 1.8 line. Okay, so I can see something 
that's in this location here. Uh, let me turn it on again. There, there you go. Can you see that? It's right here. Okay, so this is the component and it's completely burned. Uh, this is what's, what was glowing. So let's get rid of this one. So I'm going to replace it with uh, one from my donor board and let's replace it. Okay, so the end gate has been replaced. Uh, let's measure the resistance on the 1.8 line again. And we have no short anymore. So our short is gone. Uh, that's a good sign. So let's clean this card a bit and uh, let's put this card on a test bench. So I'm just going to brush that area so that I can get rid of the flux. And uh, after that, we'll put this on a test bench. I think that should be good enough. So I'm I'm still wondering uh, if uh, even after we fix this, if this card is going to work because I'm not too confident of the memory that's installed on this card, and I don't want my work to go in vain. So I do all this work, and then the customer says no to replace the memory. Okay, but uh, we'll still go ahead. Okay, so the card is on the bench now and let's put this thing up. Let's check if we have picture. Okay, we do have picture. So I'm going to assemble this card back again and uh, check and try and put into Windows. So the card has been assembled. Let me put this back on the bench and check if we have uh, Windows running. So booting the card now. And we are in Windows, I'm waiting for the drivers to load. Okay, code 18, that means it's uh, loading the drivers. Okay, and we don't have any picture. Okay, that, that's not a good sign. So I'll just turn this thing off and let me boot it again. Okay, it's, it's off. Let's boot this now. And I'll, again, I'll put this into Windows. Let's see what happens. Windows is loading and not good. This is not good. Okay, so, I may have to call the customer and tell him about this and let's see if he wants to go ahead and replace all the memories on this card. So it's going to be an expensive repair for him. Let me talk to him and, uh, you know, if he agrees, I'll continue with this repair. So you will know anyway, you know, in the video.
Okay, so that's good news. Uh, it has been six days and the customer responded to me saying that I can go ahead with the repair. So he had, in fact, given me two cards. One is this one and one was a 3070. And the 3070 is a dead card because it has a short on the memory rail as well as the 1.8 rail. And uh, it's it's not going to get repaired. So I was hoping at least this card, I can repair it for him. So let's go ahead and replace the memory. Okay, so the memories have been replaced. So first thing first, when you replace the core, or I mean, replace the memory or the reball the core, it's important to check the resistance. And we have about eight ohms. Uh, the board is still warm, so eight ohms for Samsung is good enough. Uh, so we'll go ahead and change the straps as well. So the the current setup is for Hynix, for Samsung. It's going to be low. Okay, this resistor is going to be installed down there and this one over here as well. So let's go ahead and do that.
Okay, so the board is looking nice and clean. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, put it on the bench and boot this thing up and run mats. So let's check if uh, we have any faults on the memory or do we have to reball or if we are successful in this attempt. So it's doing the auto run and we have a pass. So let's go ahead and assemble this card. The board is nice and clean. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so the GPU has been assembled. Uh, let's put this on the bench and let's run some stress tests and some benchmarks on our test bench. So let's go ahead and do that. So we are in Windows now. I'm just going to wait for the drivers to load and uh, just to make sure that we don't have uh, any errors. And waiting, there you go. So our drivers have loaded properly. And we have our message on the screen, so that's a good sign. Uh, let's run a couple of stress tests. I'm going to run Fermark, I'm going to run Heavens, uh, then also Time Spy at the end of the video. So uh, it's it's a pretty long video. I really had to wait six days, um, you know, so that I can get back working on this card. I'm glad the customer agreed. And uh, yes, this card is now working and working as expected. So uh, I want to talk to you about a few experiments that I'm doing. Currently, I'm working on some memory upgrades, uh, memory upgrades on 3060 Ti, 3070, and there's also a 3080 Ti card that I'm working. Uh, there are some hiccups that I am experiencing with these cards. It's not as easy as it was on the 2080 Ti upgrade that I did. Uh, a lot of things. 3070, I'm more successful. It does work, but the issue is that it crashes under load. You too can be a part of this experiment as well uh, by joining my channel on a monthly subscription or by hitting the thanks button your contribution is going to make my work a walk in the park so if you like this video uh, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this do leave your thoughts in the comment section and uh, do let me know what you think about this repair i do make sure that i read all the comments and i respond to the comments as well if you want to send your card, your GPU for repairs, uh, the link to book your repair is in the description of this video. 
And uh, if you have any questions regarding booking repairs, sending your graphic card, uh, you know, what is the work time, what is going to be the cost, uh, I do have an FAQ section where I answer all those questions or, you know, clear any doubts. Uh, I do also have a, a form which you can fill uh, based on your condition of your card and I will respond to you on an email. So that's it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching. You have a good day. Bye for now. Cheers.